Welcome back to my channel. I will explain in this video what am I doing with this bodysuit in pink. I know it, I, I, I must look ridiculous, but let me explain. Yesterday morning, I took a flight from Madrid to Berlin to meet my old buddy Li Wei and his friends here. They are doing an interesting project. I was like, why not? I'm just gonna drop by and see what they were doing. It was a very difficult trip because it was so early. I got up at five to be at the airport before seven. So I took the flight at eight. The whole journey was super smooth. It was a three hour direct flight. It was cheap, run by Iberia. I have no complaint whatsoever with the journey, but to get to the airport itself, it was, I couldn't wake up that early. So it, it's not my thing. I'm definitely not the early bird or the early worm that got caught by the bird. Finally, I got here at the TXL airport in Berlin. Li Wei and his friend picked me up at the airport and we went straight to a restaurant. Yes, Chinese style. And after that, we went with a few friends to an antique market at Suarez Strasse. And I looked at the street name and I was like, wait a second, Suarez? It's like a Spanish surname. What is Suarez doing in Berlin? So they went antique shopping and I was also walking around, but my intention was obviously not shop furniture in Berlin as I don't live here, but I was more interested in the whole story. So I was asking a lot of questions like, what are you guys doing here? Why you choose Berlin? What kind of art project were you doing? This friend of Li Wei, the entrepreneur, he explained to me about his project. It was really cool. It's a museum he bought with the land around in a small town around one hour driving from Berlin and he wanted to build this museum and give a new life like renovate it and change it a little bit because it was modern art and he wanted to do something with a international artist contemporary art and he was an old friend of Li Wei's and it was uh, many years, maybe 20 years ago, they were painting together, they were doing art together, and then he chose an uh, entrepreneurial uh, lifestyle or uh, career path, and then they split ways, but then they joined again as they were always friends. And now he's doing this project, he wanted Li Wei on board, and then Li Wei is like, hey, why don't you come over and have a look and give a, some suggestions and advice, and, and then I end up in an antique market looking at old furniture, chairs, tables, lamps, he bought a lot of those and also those music boxes. It's amazing. I didn't know that you can do that with this mechanical system. It's really cool. After this afternoon in the Suarezstrasse in Berlin, finally we had to a restaurant before calling it a day. And then in the restaurant, I met an unexpected person. Wolfgang Stiller, my old buddy, and I told him that I'm gonna come to Berlin, so meet me there, and he was like, no, I'll be in Barcelona, and when I saw him in the restaurant randomly, I was like, you said you'll be in Barcelona, what are you doing here in Berlin? And then he explained to me that actually his flight is the next day early morning, and he thought he might not have time, or neither would I, so he said, let's meet next time. And then we just randomly met in a huge city in a Asian restaurant. It's fate that brought us together. So we sit down, we were talking about stuff, catching up with each other, and also about political art. Because this weekend is a very special moment in Europe. In Spain, you have the general election again, and in the Berlin is the 30th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. So it's really, really important. It's a, it's a really special moment in history today. So we were talking about this stuff and he was like, ah, oh, I don't like political art. And I was like, hey, your majestic man with the Buddhist singing, isn't it political at all? And he's like, no, people misinterpret it. No, I did not have the political intention. So we were talking about art and life and whatnot. And then other people had to go and we have one hour driving to do, so we had to call it a day really, finally, and then we went to this town. This is a beautiful place. It's a little town near Berlin, if I'm not wrong, it's pronounced like Zendenik or Zentnik. It's beautiful to just walk around. There's a lot of green things, a lot of trees, and the morning fog. It's just very dreamy. So we took a walk and simultaneously we decided to take a photo shoot. So we went back to the garage to recover this tripod that he had bought to make photo shoot. He had never really used it before. So we were figuring out how it works. Meanwhile, trying to find a location for the photo shoot. We went to this windmill 
Again, in Germany, they do a lot of uh, renewable energy, so the windmill is a huge identity. So we went to the windmill, which is more of a landmark thing, and also it's also very beautiful with this little hillside. And after, we shoot uh, this outfit in pink, and that's why I'm wearing this. <laughs> and a couple of other different things and then finally we head back and then we decided again oh you, you know the weather is not so bad the sun is coming out finally because Berlin is it's raining all the time and we decided to run out again to shoot another location and he's like remember this mushroom that you had seen with me this morning let's go and get it I have a mission I'm going to look for the magic mushroom oh here you are Hello, I found it, here, oh the sensation, Ay. okay. So he was setting up the tripod and I was hunting for this magic mushroom and once we found it we took a quick photo but suddenly he wanted to use the toilet and he ran away <laughs> kept me hanging and i was like untying myself and trying to figure out what to do and then he called for me to get some hygienic papers today's really not the day as we were ready to shoot the last photo set with the light strip suddenly it's pouring cats and dogs and we had to call it a day it started to rain, so give it to me and let's go back. And I want to use this opportunity to do a shout out. If you're listening to this and if you're interested in working with a cultural institution, maybe this is something that you'd like to consider. He's looking for people, curators, managers, um, helpers, or whom not, because he's forming a new team, a local team, to help him run the place locally. So if you do speak German, ideally German, English, and Chinese, but German and Chinese are good enough, Sprachen Sie Deutsch? Yeah, then get in touch with me. He's looking for all kinds of people with different skills. So introduce yourself and leave me a comment below and I will forward your contact to the guy. He's really cool. He has a background in art, in business, and he had a lot of things very promising going on. He ran a whole cultural and art district in Beijing, as well as outside, outskirts of Beijing in another city, and he wanted to expand his footprint to Europe, and that's why he bought this place. And he is committed, and that's why he's spending the whole month here this year trying to get things done, get things sorted, and at the same time, I guess, get to know a European culture and have a good time with friends as well. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow we're going to the Berlin city and check out the memorials and celebrations of the 30 years anniversary of the fall of the war. It's a key moment. I don't want to miss out on that. And maybe I'll take more photos and do more cool stuff with Li Wei and that's for tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Leave me a comment. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and thank you and see you next time.